So Ninja Trader 8's performance out of the box is pretty fantastic and light years ahead of what you might see in NT7 for many reasons. However, after you start using it, you might notice that your performance is not the same as when you first started to. So why is that and how do you go about fixing it? Here are a few things that you can do to improve your performance of NT8. Now let's make one thing clear, the performance decrease is probably because of changes a user made since the settings of the default installation. So what are those changes that you might have made? So the first one that we're going to cover is how much data you're actually loading. When you cycle through your charts, you'll see the word loading in the top left as the chart changes. Now if this loading appears for too long and you think it's abnormal, then it could be because you're trying to load too many days. I believe the default number of days that is loaded is five by default, but you should probably change this number to maybe 50 days. On most time frames, it's usually not an issue. If you want to load up to 50 days on five minutes of data, you're trying to load about 14,000 bars. Now that's a lot, but the software can handle it. So where you can come into some issues is if you're trying to load up a thousand days of past data. Now this might make sense if you're looking for support resistance on a four hour chart, a 240 minute chart, but that same minute setting is going to be applied to everything right down to a five minute. So then if you then switch to a five minute chart, you're trying to load up 280,000 bars every time you try to cycle through a new chart. So you see where the performance issue could be weakening when you load up so many bars. Remember, this is not a default setting for NinjaTrader. This is something that you've changed afterwards and it makes good sense that you changed it, but you might want to keep the number to something by default that you might actually use, which is 50 days, instead of using something that, you know, like five days, but definitely not, let's just say a thousand days. You don't need to load up a thousand days by default as it would just slow things down. Now that actually just reminded me of something when we were talking about looking back at support resistance and past data. Before jumping to the next one, uh, you might have seen the Priceline tool from our other videos and you might want to jump to our site to get that. It's xabcdtrading.com and you can get there. It's totally free. It's just really useful for anyone that does uh, any sort of looking at past data in relationship to current price or who just wants to visualize where prices will include a link to the description of the tool below as well so if you have any questions about that uh, by all means let us know otherwise the link is in the description so let's talk about indicators now indicators uh, have to perform calculations and these calculations can be a few to many depending on what the indicator does okay in most cases the calculations of your indicator will only have to be run when the price actually changes right so if you're sitting looking at a chart and price isn't changing why does there have to be a calculation? Now, I say in most cases because some indicators will work off time, but if your indicators are working off price, then you don't need to have that calculation run every single tick if price does not change. So if price does not change, then don't have that calculation performed. So in order to do that, we need to tell NinjaTrader 8 to only perform the calculation when the price actually changes and not by each tick, which will probably save you thousands of unwanted calculations. So this is how we do it. So go into the indicators properties before adding it to your chart and you should be able to see at the very bottom here, it says when to do the calculation on price change or by tick by tick. You can pick on price change is probably the best thing you need. Uh, on bar close is totally up to you if you only need that calculation once the bar is finished drawing, that's even better. But on price change seems to be a happy medium. Now. I want to show you one other thing. This is our XABCD news indicator. Okay, it's one other indicator tool that you might want to grab as it might be extremely useful to you if you want to see news events on your charts. So it's totally free and you can grab that one from our site as well. It's xabcdtrading.com and we'll put that link as well as all our other tools in the description below. So chances are one of our previous two tips will solve any of your performance issues, but you can also try this last one. Now we did a special video on this third one and we'll link it in the description if you want more details, but basically go into your control center, 
tools and options and go down to your market data and set up your market data selection if you use different or multiple providers right uh, for different market data such as futures or even forex so make sure that you have selected the right one for your real-time selection we've seen people who go out and purchase data and then end up using a different feed uh, than the, the faster data that they might have access to so make sure that your right data provider is selected uh, for your right market connection so if you have any questions about performance or you're having a specific performance issue, feel free to post it in the comments. We usually get back to you guys pretty quickly and we'll be happy to help you out. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.